our next guest are starring in the hilarious, surreal and original show, Mr Red Light, which, set in a pie shop, follows the events of a hostage situation. Wow, OK, to tell us more, please welcome to the cafe Richard Tiare and Simon Ferry. Thanks for being on the show, boys. Thanks a lot. Pleasure to have you. OK, first up, set in a pie shop. That sounds fun, because Kiwis love our pies, but being held hostage isn't. So, Simon, tell us a bit more about how this show works. Uh, so the... The plot is, yeah, it's set in a, in a pie shop and that the, um, there's three, um, three characters who are really not connecting and they, they you know, it, it's set in a quite a banal sort of setting and very normal. And then this character of Mr Red Light just busts on in, um, you know, and holds them all hostage. And, and, you know, you would think ordinarily that that would be, you know, quite a dramatic situation and mm. there is a lot of drama in it, but... It, he just nothing goes right for him. Right. You know, he's got the world's worst luck. Um, it, it's just everything just turns bad for him. He can't. He just can't make anything happen. You know, and he's got these um, people that, in the pie shop who are really uncooperative. Right. <laughs> so he just can't get a break and no. rob a pie shop, can he? No. Okay. No. So Richard, what's the character? Who do you play? So I play Joker. Um, he is the cashier. He's the employee of the month. Oh, nice. Uh, the yes. man who really uh, enjoys his job, but it's pretty. That's the extent of his, um, you know, his his hope in the world is that Likes if he pies. can control his one environment, which is the pie shop. Right. And does he take it seriously? Oh, oh, yes. Yeah. 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 Everything down to the salt, where the sauce is. Um, you know, where everything likes to be in particular places, that's him. Yeah. And I can sense that when uh, Mr Red Light comes in, uh, there'll be some great opportunities for some comedy in that. Um, and what about you, Simon? Who do you play? Uh, I, I've got a number of roles. Yes. But the, probably the main one is I play the hostage negotiator, Trevor. OK. Who is probably the world's worst negotiator. <laughs> And unfortunately, his wife's just left him, and he's oh. crying, and oh, he's just no. go, it's oh, just Trevor. going terribly for him. And he he can't, you know, Mr. Red Light's getting no joy out of him, you know. So that's uh, one of the major characters I play. But I also play uh, an ant, um, okay. like an, an ant. We're an, ant. an ant. Yes, okay. an ant. Just yes. Heard that, right? <laughs> well, those uh, are the ones. That, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, this is this is kind of the the way that the play is. You know, it's it's. It's kind of existential in a way, you know, mm. but it's this this mad, crazy physical comedy, and then you've got these kind of real jumps, uh, sort of surrealist jumps. You, you've got a six foot ant who comes out and <laughs> starts talking philosophy and, and <laughs> eating gallons of sugar. Well, so, yeah, who is Mr. Red Light? Yeah. Then? Uh, you go. Yeah. Oh, that's a good question. Mr. Red Light is kind of a, a metaphor, like a, a metaphoric kind of a feel of of, of what everyone could be or, or, or these different lives oh, he has the ability to, yeah. to to steal people's identities and but the question of whether he's real or not is is, is really up to the audience yes. oh really um, so why is it set in a pie shop I mean even for us we don't know if he's you know like, <laughs> we'll just go oh, okay here's this here's this guy um, set in a pie shop why is well, it set in a pie Carl shop? Bland who's the writer he he intentionally wanted to yeah, he knew the play was going to be surrealistic and, and, and out there and incredibly you know, funny and bizarre. But he also wanted to start it off in somewhere really banal, really ordinary, really every day. And you're right, you know, Kiwis love pies. Mm. And, yeah. um, it's kind of part of our long history. And so we, um, he sort of said it there. But it's also, um, it's a place that they're all trapped, you know. Wow. It's not set outdoors or anything like that. Um, yeah, so it's got a... It's got a whole lot of meanings within it. And, of course, the set is beautiful. Uh, it's a, um, designed by Andrew Foster. And it's, you know, you walk in and you think this is just beautiful. Pie. That sounds like my sort of play, actually. <laughs> OK, so I guess the characters in that situation, there's a bit of comedy, but, you know, it's a serious hostage situation. Do they uncover bits and pieces about themselves? Uh, definitely. Right. Yeah, yeah. So, I mean, all these characters, that ca they would, would not necessarily may not go to the same party or they mm. might not end up in the same same um, place to hang out. They end up forced to, to kind of confront the things that maybe that they fear, the things that they that they love, the things that they remember. Nice. Um, so it's an unfolding story mm. as well as, as, as much as it is um, being a high-stakes situation. Right. So what um, would you like people to take away from the show? When they leave the theatre, what do you want them to be thinking? Well, they... It, what's, what's happened so far? You know, we've um, had a few nights already and... Um, People are just, it's real gut busting laughs, you know. And, and Trigby Wakenshaw, who's playing Mr. Red Light, is this incredible physical comedian. The stuff he does with his body is just, uh, it's incredible. Uh, but so people are really, really, you know, laughing and in tears and they're just having such a great time. 
But then other people are kind of, uh, or, you know, afterwards are saying, oh, they were moved and they were really kind of, uh, days after, they were still thinking about the play and, and some Back of the situations. The yeah, yeah, it's fabulous. Sounds so. awesome, doesn't it? Yeah, but yeah. you've been thinking about it days after you've actually seen something. Yeah. It's great. What about you, Richard? What do you want people to take away? I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm very similar. You know, as, as long as they can kind of take, you know, a, a piece of them that makes them just think or at least go, oh, well, wow. you know, be reminded of something about life or for anything that keeps them interested, even in theatre, you know, mm. um, that they can walk away and just go, wow, that was a breath of fresh air. Awesome. And that's what theatre is all about. Thank yeah. you both very much for joining us. Yeah, thank you, guys. And good luck with the tour, too. Thank and for all of the tour dates and ticket details for Mr. Red Light, you can go to tourmakers.co.nz.